Hello and welcome. My name is Karen and I am here today to teach you everything you've ever wanted to know about the basics of chalk markers. So today we are going to go over the traditional way to use chalk markers, but also other ways to use and erase them. This is going to give you the solid foundation and the confidence that you need to make amazing chalk art. All right, let's get started. Today I am using my limited edition Lettering by Karen chalk markers. When you open chalk markers for the first time, they do need to be primed before you can start using them. Uh, they are a lot like paint pens in that sense, but I do wanna show you something before we prime this one. Many chalk markers come with a reversible tip. So you can pull the tip out and flip it around depending on whether you want to use a bullet tip or a chisel tip. And I often prefer the bullet tip. I rarely use the chisel tip unless I am doing small lettering. So when you prime them, it is actually easier to prime with the bullet tip. Okay, priming. You are going to want to shake these markers really well before you use them. Make sure the cap is on all the way when you're shaking them. And then you're going to press the tip several times until it fills with ink. Okay, so this one primed really fast. You might have to pump some of them more than twice to get it. Um, but then you'll get this nice opaque ink. If it doesn't come out opaque, if it still looks runny and unmixed, put the cap back on and shake again. Okay, so when do we prime them? If it's a new marker. At the beginning of any project that you're working on, unless you just used chalk markers recently. If you happen to notice that the liquid chalk seems runnier or a little less opaque than normal. And last but not least, if you are drawing over a dry layer of liquid chalk, a freshly primed tip will glide so much smoother over it. So now that they're primed, how do we use them? Traditionally, you would just draw directly onto your surface with the chalk marker. Um, this is the most common and most used method and it seems pretty self-explanatory. You can also use a paintbrush to apply chalk marker to your surface. I like to use one of these ceramic palettes and prime my colors right on it until I have a nice little puddle. This method is gonna work really well for small details or for things that you're more comfortable doing with a paintbrush. So whether it's florals or filling in um, a paintbrush is also a good choice if you are adding a second coat and the chalk marker seems to be pulling up the first coat of liquid ink. So again, I just pumped it into the ceramic palette, dip your paintbrush in, and then it goes on just like regular paint. Um, and you can use any size paintbrush for this depending on what your project is. The palette also allows you to mix chalk colors. I use this method a lot for skin tones or if I'm matching wedding colors, um, a lot of times for grays because you get a black and a white, but there are not gray chalk markers. So I put some white in with my blue. I am going to take my paintbrush and just mix those two together to create a lighter blue. And I had a lot of blue in there, but I am still getting a lighter color. And another cool technique that you can do using the palette is dipping the tip of one chalk marker into a second color. So I'm going to dip this hot pink into our blue and it's going to just get on the tip a little bit. And then it's going to make cool, you can do lettering with it. You can fill in things with it, but you'll see that it starts with the color that you dipped it in, and then it will eventually progress to 
the original color. Occasionally, I will use this technique if I just want a slightly lighter shade or a slightly darker shade. So if I was looking to do a slightly lighter purple, I could dip my purple into a puddle of white occasionally while I'm coloring something and the colors would mix as you use the marker on your surface. Okay, so we've gone through the traditional way and using a paintbrush. The third way that you can use chalk markers is with your fingers. Chalk marker ink spreads really well with your fingers and it's pretty fun and calming to do. So I like to prime my chalk markers directly onto the board and then use my finger to spread it around. I am gonna do, it's kind of like a little tie-dye swirl, but I also really like doing flowers with my fingers. And I can show you guys that another time. So let's prime this one. And with this, it's it depends on what you're doing, but for this particular tie-dye thing, I kind of want a lot of liquid on the board. So I'm simply gonna just use my finger and spread this around and it will create a cool spiral. I missed a few spots, but you can easily go back in or you can leave it like that. I feel like this would make really cute lollipops on a birthday board. I am also going to show you how to create a nice smooth background. Um, I put some painter's tape on here because this is another cool trick. But if you prime your chalk marker wherever you want your background to be and use a damp paper towel, you can spread out the liquid chalk. So I'm going to lightly sweep over this with my paper towel and it will spread it out. And you'll notice that it's very light in color. You can go back over it again until you achieve the right color. So I'm just gonna prime a couple more little blobs there. And I'm gonna use my paper towel again. You just wanna make sure that you go over it lightly. Otherwise you are going to erase your chalk marker. And we're gonna talk about how to erase chalk marker next. So. Stay tuned. So let's say that's the color that I was trying to achieve. If you are using painter's tape, you can create really nice borders with your chalk marker. Okay, so now let's talk about how we erase chalk markers. It is extremely important to note that chalk markers do not erase off of chalkboard paint. I'm gonna say it one more time. Chalk markers do not erase off of chalkboard paint. You will have to paint over them to get that chalkboard looking new again. They will erase off of most non-porous surfaces, chalkboards, glass, mirrors, ceramic, dry erase boards. They're really fun on dry erase boards. Um, if you are working on a service and you're not sure if your chalk markers are going to erase, test a small area first just to make sure. So chalk markers are wet erase, meaning that you're going to want a wet cloth in order to erase your surface clean of any liquid chalk. My cloth has seen better days, but it works beautifully. It is damp and that is going to wipe right off. I will sometimes follow it with a dry cloth just so that I can go ahead and start chalking on it sooner. I am using Lottie Dottie chalkboards and I find that they wipe clean easily with just water but some lesser quality board may need a little extra elbow grease 
if you have ghosting after you wipe the chalk off, meaning that you can still see where it was, try using a magic eraser to clean it the rest of the way. Okay, what if you only want to erase a small part of your chalk art? My two favorite methods are by Q-tip and by eraser, like just a regular old pencil eraser. Okay, so let's say you're creating your chalk masterpiece and you accidentally smudge while you go back to do the top or you make a mistake or you spell something wrong. Rather than starting completely over and just wiping it clean, you can erase your mistake with a Q-tip. So I'm going to wet one of these ends and simply wipe the chalk up. You're gonna flip it back over with the dry end and remove all that excess. It's like all wet chalk that's going everywhere. And so I've got this smudge. I can make a decision to erase the whole L or I can just erase what I think is messed up. I think I don't need to erase it. Now, if you notice that you are erasing and it's putting more chalk ink on top instead of erasing it, grab a new Q-tip. I actually like to keep Q-tips at my desk because just in case you make a mistake, it's good to have them right there. So I've got a second Q-tip and it looks like I might wet this one just a little bit to get any of the extra off. And then I can go back over with my chalk marker and fix my mistake. This method works really well if you are doing borders and like when I did the triangle background, if you saw a little bit bled through the tape, you can go around the edges with a damp Q-tip and clean that up. Okay, so I think that looks fabulous and it is ready for fixing. The other way to erase the chalk marker is with an eraser. Yes, you can actually erase chalk marker with a regular old pencil eraser. I like using this method to create details in my chalk art, and I will do some videos in the future where I show you a lot of different techniques where that will come in play. For this, I'm just gonna show you the key to using an eraser to erase your chalk is to make sure that the chalk is dry. You don't wanna do this on wet liquid chalk. You wanna make sure that it's completely dry, but if you'll see, it picks it right up. So if I would have had a tiny smear on this L, I could have just cleaned it up with the eraser. If your eraser gets coated in liquid chalk from erasing too much, you can wipe it off with a wet cloth or paper towel. I hope that you found these tips about chalk markers extremely helpful today, and I hope that they help you to create the best chalk art imaginable. I will be going over how to make professional looking chalkboards, uh, how to do window art, and just some fun ways to use chalk markers in future videos. Please subscribe if you'd like to learn more, and thanks for watching.